I saw your story on the news and I and I went, oh goodness. Um, and then I went through his social media because you had referenced his Instagram. So I had went through his Instagram on a deep dive and discovered, oh my gosh, he thinks I'm dead. <laughs> it is a wild claim that went too far, only on 8 News Now. The man at the center of a stalking case involving Governor Lombardo talks about what led to that man's arrest. And tonight, our 8 News Now investigators are also asking why this went on for so long. 8 News Now investigator David Charles with the actions one victim took to protect himself that went nowhere. But just to be clear, the governor did not murder you. No, I'm, I'm very much alive. I've never met the governor. Billy Vosberg may have never met Governor Joe Lombardo, but that's not what his former neighbor thinks. The governor, Joe Lombardo, killing this man. Prosecutors say that's 28-year-old Stanley Weaver. Joe Lombardo killed the man, and they need to, the police need to do something about it. The person to do that something would be Weaver. In March, he recorded himself going to this house where he believed the governor and his family lived. At what point did you want to move? Um, it was around the time that he chased me in my car around the neighborhood. Vosberg says Weaver was his downstairs neighbor. <laughs> Police say over the course of several months last year, Weaver allegedly harassed Vosberg, even setting fire to the building they shared. I was terrified. I needed to go. Records the 80s now investigators obtained show last April and May, Vosberg called police on Weaver seven times. Excuse me? Vosberg isn't sure what Weaver had issue with, though he says Weaver threw not just rocks, but homophobic slurs. The harassment culminated with this temporary protection order, or TPO, signed that June, ordering Weaver to stay 100 feet away. But records the 8 News Now investigators obtained show that order was never served. You were granted the TPO, but he was never served that TPO. Apparently not. So what does that say to you? That less people care. Vosberg packed up and moved, leading Weaver's wild theory to unravel. Weaver posting photos to social media of Vosberg's old front door, alongside dozens of others of the governor and his family. Police say Weaver even sent messages to First Lady Donna Lombardo and the governor's daughter and stepdaughter. Documents also revealing he searched on Google for where does Governor Joe Lombardo live now? Donna Lombardo, Joe Lombardo kids, and a Las Vegas address dozens of times. Governor Joe Lombardo murdered murdered a man. By March, this doorbell camera video recorded Weaver showing up to the home where he believed the Lombardos lived and refused to leave. By then, documents reveal the governor's security team was aware of Weaver's attempts to contact the family, and officials were planning to, quote, make contact with him March 4th. This was March 3rd. I just knocked on the door. Nobody answered. I feel like if he's going to go find the governor and his family to somehow avenge me that what's to put it past him to come find me. Shortly after this recording, police arrested Weaver at his home. Are you Mr. Weaver? The 8 News Now investigator is finding Weaver is no stranger to the court system. Last November, he appeared in competency court for a DUI. The state of Nevada is going to consider dismissing the charges against you if you go to the hospital, talk to the doctors, go to all your appointments and stay out of trouble. Can you do that? Yes. That's terrific. Several months later, as Weaver was posting videos like this. Governor Joe Lombardo killed the man and they're not doing about it. Court records show he finished a misdemeanor diversion program, but did not attend a follow up appointment. Without knowledge of the continued harassment, Weaver's original case was dismissed. Has he stayed out of trouble? Can we dismiss him close? Vosberg wishes more could have happened before it got to this. I want to see him get the help he needs and stay behind bars for a long time. I just knocked on the door. But he's more thankful. Weaver never found him. As far as I was concerned, he wasn't able to find me. Court documents also reveal Weaver's parents told police they became so concerned about their son's behavior, they hid all their knives. As for why Weaver was never served that protection order, Vosberg says he was told it's because he didn't provide his alleged stalker's birthday. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now.
Right now, Weaver does remain in custody on $1 million bail. He was also referenced to competency court so doctors can determine if he understands the criminal charges against him. In a statement, Governor Lombardo tells us, quote, the increase in online agitation and anger continues to lead to more real life violence. May this incident serve as a reminder to treat each other with respect and dignity.